him being this worldwide phenomena he's the the biggest combat sport athlete not just of today ever there's no one like him so he's been looking for somebody who could save him instead of searching inside for what they gave him a strong will strong mind causes mayhem we could change the world change times rearrange them staying on pace running the race life is a chase i don't want to play <laughs> yes McGregor's charismatic personality and impressive fighting skills have made him one of the biggest stars in combat sports, he says what he wants, I just don't give a fuck. does what he wants and acts the way he wants. And in the process, Dana White has made plenty of money over the years, the accent, the tattoos, the style. There are few like him. Although there are many discussions about whether McGregor is really one of the best fighters, there is no doubt that he is the most famous in mixed martial arts, and therefore, he is a legend of the sport. After beating Jose Aldo, McGregor won only three of his next seven fights. Yes, in that time he became the first man to hold titles simultaneously in two divisions when he beat Eddie Alvarez in 2016. However, earlier that year, he lost to Nate Diaz, Although he won the rematch by decision. A surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Tapped out to Khabib Nurmagomedov in one of the biggest fights in lightweight history two years later. He no, jumps no, the no, fence! No, 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 Whoa! no, no, and he's going right at Dylan Dennis! Mayhem! What the fuck? And in his most recent octagon appearances, he suffered back-to-back -back technical knockout losses to Dustin Poirier. It's not that Connor has done very well in recent years, although the Irishman has announced his retirement on several occasions on social networks, the truth is that it seems that he does not plan to retire from the octagon at the moment. <laughs> no problem, eh? Yeah? No fucking problem. According to Forbes, McGregor was the highest-earning athlete in 2021 over Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. So, if he has already achieved everything in his career, sporting success and a lot of money, why would he continue fighting? Let's see it. All right, gentlemen, we've been on the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. Touch gloves if you wish at this time. Let's do it. Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier fought for the third time on July 10, 2021. The Irish fighter was looking for revenge after suffering a technical knockout a few months earlier in the second fight of this trilogy. Poirier was dominating the fight, and at the end of the first round, what no one could have expected happened, McGregor suffered a fracture of the tibia and fibula in his left leg. Thus ending the fight due to a medical stoppage, he had to undergo emergency surgery. At the end of the surgery, the Irishman made his first statements through his social networks, saying that he had to rest for six weeks, and then he would start working to fight again as soon as possible. And we come back better than ever. Let's go team. After the fight, McGregor was furious that the fight ended that way and kept saying that it was not going to end there. This is not over. Dana White also declared that the fight could not end like that, so it seemed that the fourth fight against Poirier was going to happen, although Dana also said that Connor would be out for at least one year due to the serious injury he had suffered. McGregor later revealed that he had been suffering from ankle problems for some time due to chronic arthritis. During the recovery process Connor stayed active, training the way he could, without using his leg, doing strength exercises and lifting weights. As a result we could see a Connor McGregor bigger than ever. Yeah. Yeah. 
due to this and the rapid recovery that his leg was experiencing compared to other similar injuries of other fighters, rumors began to arise about the possible use of prohibited substances. And you look at Connor after that leg break, he got fucking jacked. Ripped. Just yeah. gigantic. Yeah. Like 200 plus pounds, it looks like. Just huge fucking shoulders. And like, that's generally not the result of natural hormones. Sure. That's generally the result of exogenous hormone use. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. This is a lot of people are speculating, not just me. USADA requires athletes to be in the testing pool for at least six months and present two negative tests to compete. For some reason, McGregor was not in the USADA testing pool during his entire recovery process. It was not until October 8th of this year when McGregor re-entered the testing pool, as confirmed by USADA CEO Travis T. Tigard. McGregor had said through his Instagram that he would fight again in 2022, however Dana White had declared that the Irishman had to comply with the rules of anti-doping tests, so that his return for that year was complicated. Later. McGregor announced that he would return to the Octagon in early 2023. During his period of inactivity, there have been many rumors about who McGregor's rival would be in his return, there was talk of a third fight against Nate Diaz, also of a possible fight against Tony Ferguson, there was even talk that McGregor could fight for the lightweight title against Charles Oliveira, and most surprisingly, the Irishman said in an interview that he would like to fight at 170 pounds against Usman, which also meant a fight for the belt. I believe that's the fight to make. I believe I believe myself versus Usman for the 175, 170 pounds title for my comeback fight is the one, I, one I'm eyeballing. Connor's fans couldn't be more confused. He kept announcing different dates and fighters for his return. Finally. UFC President Dana White confirmed in February of this year that Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler would be the coaches of the next season of The Ultimate Fighter. So my, to see you again. I'd probably be the last second round KO. Keep dreaming, bro. Keep dreaming. Hit you with the hard ones in the first. <laughs> if I told you what weight it's going to be, 184. You want to do 185, I'll do 185. <laughs> You'll do what you're told. I'm going to pin you. This is my game. There were rumors that the fight would be in December 2023. Although the months were passing and there were no indications that the fight would take place, the UFC did not make any official statement and while Chandler trained in the gym, Connor was still partying and drink alcohol, without setting foot in the gym. His coach John Cavanaugh, in an interview on the MMA Hour, said that the idea was for Connor to fight in April 2024, but that it would surely be delayed until the summer. The breaking of USADA's contract with the UFC was announced. Starting January 1, 2024, the anti-doping agency would no longer supervise fighters. It is quite evident that the situation with Conor McGregor is the trigger for this breakup. After this news, speculation began that the Irish fighter would be at UFC 300 in April, although his coach's statements denied this rumor. Surprisingly, McGregor said through his social networks that he would announce the day of the fight and the opponent of his return, and indeed, he did. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, a happy new year to you all. I'd like to announce the return date for myself, the notorious Conor McGregor. The greatest comeback of all time will take place in Las Vegas for International Fight Week. June the 29th, come a little closer, and the opponent, Michael Chandler, and the weight, Mr. Chandler, 185 pounds. <laughs> the Irishman said that the fight would be in International Fight Week, June 29th, against Michael Chandler and at 185 pounds. So it seems that we finally have a date for Connor's long-awaited return, but as we have seen, it would not be the first time that he has announced something on his social networks and then it does not happen. The wait is getting long for everyone, but especially for Chandler, which is undoubtedly going to be the most important fight of his career. There have been many comments that Conor McGregor would not fight again, as he had lost his hunger by achieving everything in his career, and that he no longer had the motivation to do so. 
Although it is true that we do not see that the Irishman trains as hard and constant as he did before, there must be something in him that prevents him from retiring from the octagon, and it is something that we have seen with many other fighters, who have been fighting all their lives. And they can't stop doing it. Now I'm back. I'm ready to go. What is the motivation? Because as you know, in the fight game, you reach that point, satin sheets, it's hard to I've wake up. I've got the up. satin sheets, I've got the silk sheets, I've got the fucking Egyptian cotton duvets <laughs> right. and pillows, I've got I've got the I've got everything. So why wake up at competition, 5 a.m.? Competition, man, competition, it's the best buzz ever. Well, how would you not want to do it? How would how would you not want to make this walk and experience this whole thing? McGregor is still young and we hope to see him get into the octagon more times. We will see if Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler will truly face each other on June 29, 2024, or if, on the contrary, the return of the most famous man in MMA continues to drag on. Who do you think would win? Leave it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos about combat sports.